Hello guys, this is uh, Midland 46100 Productions here. Uh, I'm just doing another short live stream again. For what I'm doing is driving and shunting around at Aylesbury on the Wickham Railway. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just, let's go to the uh, sheds and have a look round. So we've got a small prairie, a pannier, um, a J50, and in the back of the shed is an ATF and a collet hole. Uh, this is the main shed at Aylesbury. Uh, so if we go to the other end of the line somewhere, uh, we've got a standard five. Uh, a peppercorn K1 and oops going the wrong direction the other end I've got another two locos two V2 classes one in BR black in lined and we got one in uh, LNER uh, livery So I am thinking of um, using one of the tank engines to arrange um, a freight chain uh, into the uh, into this platform and the passenger train on this side. So um, I should might as well start on the freight because there's more to uh, shunt around and sort out. So I should be getting one brake van from here, then a, uh, a selection of vans and hoppers and tanks and yeah, and milk wagons here. And if we get to the other end, we've got some flatbed pipes, uh, trestles, I think, um, flatbeds with nothing on it and some with steel plates. On this side we've got some open five plank wagons and we've got um one of them with uh trucks with canvas over it over it. Uh over here we got one gunpowder van some cattle wagons I think I think they are. I'm not sure what they are. Got some more vans. And then we got some the Riviera line in the 50s coaches, and we got some more uh, the Mark ones from the Castle pack over the other other end of the line here. So, um, so yeah, I might as well get my uh, tank engine started. Right, and I will choose the Prairie. Uh, better get the uh, points set up. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Mm. Uh, that points against me, so. Um, cut a nine. Right. Uh, switch here. So, first of all, if I'm collecting some brake vans. I had to get it from this siding here. I just set all the points. That will be. Oh wait, I should have, should have done that. Switch the points there. Switch over here, and then yeah, back down. And anyway, let, let's just go. Uh, right. Release. Build up some vacuum. Set in reverse. I think the cylinder cocks are. They're open. Uh, just, uh, 
put into running mode. Right. The other two to the whistle. Uh, we should just pick up the toad van from here. Right, we just wait for the loco to come. Slightly, a slight touch on the vacuum. Sorry, I'm mistaken. That is the handbrake. So we must... What should I pick up? I think I should come and pick up... The... Now what should I do? Uh, I will put that in the... Uh, oh, really, really need to rethink that. Um, right, I need to think of that. So if I'm putting the brake van here... Oh wait, I have to... No, damn it. Uh, yeah, so I could re uh, run around the train here. Uh, so... Yeah, I'll just take the brake van, as it should do. moment it's showing on the HUD right, I'll swap the points yep seems fine so I will park the brake van here there.
there. And couple. Right, I should get the... Where am I? I am there, so... I should just... Uh, Ah. Oh no, yep, sorry. This section I've forgotten to go there. Uh, swap the points there. Uh, swap there. Uh, ah. I'm s getting a slight issue with the points. I can't seem to switch on this bit. So, um. I think I think I will uh, Well this is a bit of a bum. Uh well, what should I do? I'll just go back anyway and try and reverse to the train. Where am I? Oh yeah, I can switch the points from uh, my train. Right, I should be able to get into one of the sidings. Yes. Right. on the injectors just to quieten down the uh, safety valve. That didn't go well. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, right. I will try that again. Uh, sorry about this. <clears throat> I had this problem before even the live stream started. Hmm. Right. <clears throat> 
let's just try that again. Right, we'll try that again. I think I will do the passenger train first this time, not the... I'll do the freight later. Sort, sort out the freight later. Right, um... I know. Let me have a look what I was doing again. Uh... Two, I've got three choices. There's a coaches in the siding there. There's coaches in the siding next to the shed. And there's some coaches uh, near where the V2s are parked. Um, since this is a Great Western route, um, I think I'll choose the Great Western Mark 1s. Yes. Right. Uh... I think the points are now switched on this line. Uh, need to do that section here. So, uh, where am I looking at it again? So, two lines there. So that switches over there, and that goes there. And yeah. Yes, that's going well. Right. Let's let's start again bit fierce on the regulator Seems to slow down a bit too much.
should be connected. Yep. Right. Uh, right, we should be going into the... Oh, where did I go wrong? I should be going down into should be going into this platform anyway Quite tight round the bends and over the points. Should slow down nicely into the station. Touch on the bit of a break. The brakes. Nicely, so we will safely detach the loco, just des uh, destroy all vacuums. Right, uh, so we should go back to shed then, and I'll choose what um, loco I'll go to uh, High Wickham then, and that's where I'm going to stop and get the returning run around the train and go back. Right. All goes to planning. Hopefully this one go wrong. Go back into this route. Yeah. So create the vacuum again. Seems in order with the points, so we should be ready to go back in the shed. Mm, we should slow down because we're going to the shed, of course.
park here. Destroy vacuum again. And hopefully to put this in neutral. And drain cocks open. And since we are not moving anywhere, we will we'll apply the handbrake. And yeah, this is back to shed now. So ready for the next use. Right, uh, so yeah, let's choose, or let me find a loco to take this train to High Wycombe. Could choose... I don't know, really, should I go engine first or tender first? If somebody's watching the live stream, can you uh, put in the chat which one should I do? Engine first or tender first? Gone the wrong way. I think I will choose the V2. Oh, for goodness sake. With all that uh, work being done, I don't think that's gone well. Hmm. <sighs> I think scrap the idea of shunting, and I think I'll just go back to driving. I'll just do a quick drive from Aylesbury to High Wycombe. I think all that shunting was a bit of a waste until that collision. But I will hopefully sort that problem out as soon as I can find what was the reason why I keep derailing. Um, and uh, I will do that again. So, yeah, I'm not really getting much luck for this. Right. Shall I choose? Of course, the V2. Um, I think I will do LNR V2 Darlington Green livery with the Riviera in the 50s fish fans. Um, we should set this around 8 o'clock in the evening to make it look nice. Uh, once that quick drive's done, I will be, um, I will be doing a, another one, uh, soon, but hopefully doing races with other friends. The first live stream with the race didn't go well because nothing happened until an hour later, and it was pretty much boring because n nothing actually happened in the first few hours, uh, due to most of my friends having problems loading up their games so right we should right, I think I will renumber this loco go to I'm going to go to world editor and edit the loco number This won't take long. Oops. Right. Got a loco right in my face. Uh, right. Uh, was it 4 3? Yes. I will be using this loco again. 
but this time with a load of fish vans, hopefully. Uh, yes, yes. Right, uh, this has a light, yeah it does, right, uh, adjust the damper slightly, crack the blower open, um, open the water trimmer, Open the ejector and release the brakes. And put it into forward gear. And lock it down. Since we are sitting in the station for a bit off, I will set up the loco. Uh, I will shovel some coal in. Right, I think I will set the head code. I will just... I'm terrible at remembering these head codes, so I used my uh, helpful book that shows all the head codes. And what they are. Right, so if I'm doing fish train, I should be getting a lamp code on the left hand bottom left hand corner and a lamp in the middle. Well, that's my lamp done. Uh, let me check the back of the train to check if it has a lamp. Yes, it does. Good. rather nice in the dark makes a change and it make uh, from making it from daylight uh, I think I will do a screenshot of this uh, I'll do another one on the other end uh, currently you can see the station you can't quite actually tell with the station I turned down my graphics uh, as low as I can because so, it runs very smooth on uh, lower uh, graphics. Since my computer isn't actually a gaming computer, it's a, a, a normal computer, as you normally do. But I will hopefully get a, a much more better computer that runs the games really nicely. Right, we should uh, get this uh, train in the move. Right, I think I'll stop shoveling coal since I've got too much. Uh, adjust the brakes a bit. I'll open the vents a bit. Uh, so I th think we're ready to go. Really? Well, there's nothing else you could do. Uh, I think I can just imagine there's a guard there, and it's waved this flag. Even there isn't there. Uh, so we should now go.
take a sit from another angle if we can. It's quite dark, so you might not see the loco. I uh, really must say that this pack is really good to have. Has some really nice sounds to it. Got different sorts of liveries to it. From Doncaster Green to Darlington Green to BR Green to BR Black Line livery. Uh, I think it has wartime black to it. If I'm wrong, um, it must. You will only get the. No, I think I've forgotten this stuff. Uh, anyway, right. We should go. We've got another 14.97 miles left before we go to High Wickham. I really must say I'm in love with the V2s. Ever since I've got the um, the pack, I've, I've just started driving it because the detail is amazing. It shows the inside valve gear as well, the uh, inside cylinders. It's absolutely amazing. Right, we should just open it a bit more. As we are going uphill. Um, has some proper working injectors. Uh, I am currently using the exhaust. Uh, but I just need to shut that as I'm going to speed. I'm actually going to follow the speed rest uh, restriction. If I wanted to go any faster, I had to wait for the next speed restriction. Has a B call to it. that has different types of whistles to it and this normal one I think I'll knock back the blower since I'm going to be blowing off immensely. a bit too far. The safety valves won't go and won't knock off until 205 psi until 
the boiler pressure will rise up again. I think for now, since this route's quite uh, short, but takes a long time since it's a low speed, I think I will speed up. stationed in the distance. Uh, I will go ahead of the loco so I could do a screenshot like I always do. I think uh, it's quite far away. Mm. Ah, right, there's a the station. I uh, will just sit here, or actually no, I should put it there, and just wait for the loco to come. Uh, just remove the HUD for a bit. See how fast I'm going. 59 miles an hour. As I'm supposed to be doing 30, but I really want to get this engine a few mileage. Put the HUD up. Uh, I am currently doing 62 miles an hour. I will slow down. There's two, there's quite a few views from the cab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got nine views out of the cab, or in the cab. Right, uh. I will start using the live injector. Don't know why I'm not picking up water. I don't like the lag. The lag's just happening immediately. I didn't want that. It wounds, uh, yeah. It will sort itself out. Uh, six 
we are approaching Princess uh, Princess Risborough, we should slow down. We are ah. Oh, I really don't like this lag. I, I still need to get used to these brakes since uh, they are very sensitive. If you put too much, the wheels will, will lock into place. As I'm doing that, I'm currently going too fast in the 15 mile an hour zone. Uh, and we have now derailed. <sighs> so, yeah, um, just I need to get used to these brakes since, uh, since I'm still wanted to get used to driving these good machines. Um, so yeah, I will be ending this live stream here. Uh, I will be doing another one with my uh, fellow friends uh, hopefully doing a race uh, from uh, any sort of route with any types of locos with different types of loads but uh, so yeah uh, that, yeah that's it stay tuned for the next live stream I will do some live streams like every week now uh, and uh, Go to that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Like the videos, comment the videos, and I will f feel free to uh, answer your questions. So uh, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.